say a motorcycle, but I don't think that's in it. It's like a Harley. Some kind of cruiser. That sounds like that would be him. Yeah. Sound nice. Thank you. Still cool. purring like a kitten out here. Yeah. Do you have to do any uh, adjustments to it after you laid it down on the highway? No, just take the cat off. See, mm -hmm. and you don't really have time to properly avoid them, so you. The best option is to like power slide, right? Okay. Like towards them. Like imagine you're gonna hit them with your rear tire and then last second let out the brake and course correct. So basically you were heading right at them, right? I was heading this way when I do it, I hip chuck. And now I'll course correct back over this way, like a foot to the left. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But the more oh, you is it is it my mic's fucking heavy, so I'm like, I know. That's funny. Usually, when you don't have time to swerve, is when they're coming opposite directions and last second they just cut in front of you like a fucking asshole. You yeah. don't want to swerve that way because now you're both going the same direction. You want to swerve the way it's coming from mm -hmm. and buy yourself enough time to be able to safely swerve. Like, so you just skid towards it, and then last second, see what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, basically, yeah, skid towards it, and then just move around. Yeah, so you were both, moving. this is you, this is the car, it's coming, everything's fine, you're checking everything like you're supposed to, mm. everything's peachy cream, and all of a sudden, this asshole just, oh, you motherfucker, there's mm. no way I have enough time to brake. Mm. If I swerve this way, not good. Mm. I don't really have enough time and space to swerve that way, because now I'm just going to hit him diagonally. Mm -hmm. I mean, worst case, even if this doesn't work, it's still safer to hit a car with your tires first than... Mm -hmm. They're everything. Yeah, but usually, like I said, 90... It's always worked for me, but I'm going to say it's like a 90% success rate if you're really good at this. You swerve as if you're going to hit it, and you're just buying enough time in your mind, like, okay, fuck, I got just enough room now to let off. Mm. I've done it like 100 times. The more you bring out the tire and the more you slide, the more you need to lean. Okay. Kind of like a baseball slide, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. When you start sliding, start turning now. Just do that and then let go. Yeah! No more. This is the first sports bike we've ever been on. Oh.
You never heard it off the bike before? Mm-mm. I mean, I heard it off the bike, but I never heard it like, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. It sounds sweet, don't you? Yeah, they're... Oh, man. They have their endorsements. I don't have my endorsements. Me neither. But, anyway, let's go to Skyline. Huh? Let's go to Skyline and have some fun. Yeah, I just saw you're a cool cat when I first met you. The bike's my favorite color. I felt bad you went down, and then you told me you only been riding like a month and a half. I was like, oh, fuck. Exactly. And I was like, I hope this doesn't come off as condescending, but I would like to show you some moves that most riders don't even know. Yeah, no, I really appreciate that. I was like, oh. Yeah, in case you ever get in an oh shit situation again, I just want you to be more prepared to hopefully stay on two wheels. Yeah. Upright. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you appreciate it, and I appreciate you for the dedication of practicing. Thank you. Yeah. Practice makes permanent, because nothing's perfect. Yeah. My favorite color, light blue, almost like lavender. It's like, it's basically a lavender. Light blue, light purple matches my phone. Left him way in the dust. Holy shit. Alright, let's see how much I gapped him. One Mississippi. Two. I'm going 33. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Seven Mississippi. Eight Mississippi. Nine Mississippi. Ten Mississippi. Eleven Mississippi. Twelve Mississippi. Thirteen. I can see him. Fourteen Mississippi. Fifteen Mississippi. 16 Mississippi, 17 Mississippi, 18 Mississippi, 19 Mississippi. It's always good to check on your riding partner. Don't gap them like for miles. You should check on them once in a while, make sure they didn't go down. It's a considerate thing to do. Especially when they're new, uh, less seasoned to rider, and you're taking them somewhere new. I know it's right like the back of my hand now. He does not. I think it's his first time. So it's good to just make sure that it can go down. Don't be a jackass and just focus on you looking cool. Be concerned for others around you as well. Especially your friends, your buddies, your amigos. Check on my partner real quick. Me and me. 
Vigo. How you liking the ride so far? Your hands are cold? Oh. Yeah, well, I was given a break to check in with you too. I want to let you know I'm not one of those asshole riders that just worry about trying to look cool and just dusting you for miles. I am going to have fun and like practice getting it, but every once in a while I am checking to make sure you didn't go down. So, like, I might gap you for a little bit. But I'm going to slow down. Like right then I was hitting 33. And then I was counting. I was curious how how long it was going to take you to catch up going 33. It was like 15, 20 seconds. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I will slow down periodically and wait till I can see you again and make sure you're okay. You. And if I don't see you, obviously I'll go back. Okay. Yeah. You. It's always good to do that when you're riding with buddies. Yeah. Be concerned about others around you. you. Yeah, yeah. But there's more beauty. Normally when I do this, I'm just trying to get faster and faster for my own sake. So I ride to here, get I turn around, I go back. I just do this once in a while in between getting deliveries when I'm working for fun. Uh, but there is more beauty that way. So I'm just keep going straight, okay. probably all the way to like Savi's Island because I'm sure you got enough gas, right? Okay. Well, when the gas lights comes on, we'll be able to get back safely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just remember, don't, well, it doesn't like you're trying to pass me at all, which is good, but I was going to say, if you ever want to pass me, don't do it in turns because that's too dangerous. Because I can't stay over. What I'm doing right now, because I don't know how you ride, but you're actually a good rider. Some people want to like, eh, which is really bad because if I don't know, I'm not on one side of the road to leave room for you. But my point is, when I'm turning, I can't do that. I got to use the whole lane to turn fast. So definitely don't try to pass me in a turn because you're going to cause a wreck. But you already seem to know that. Just want to make sure. But it seems like you're content just following me. Uh, yeah. Your bike's loud enough. I could, if I can't see, I still hear you. Uh, you. It's definitely good to be safe. Less is more. Don't go past your comfort level. On the ride back, I'm going to follow you at whatever pace you go. We're just going to go straight until we hit the highway and then turn around. And then you just go straight all the way back. He's like, what? You're going to follow me back? I don't know where the fuck I'm at.